Building the streetcar is burying some parking. Right, at least that's what some are saying now about a new substation at Court and Walnut. WLWT News News John London is live along the line where construction started to explain why looks can be deceiving, John. Well, yeah, no question that laying tracks through the urban core has caused disruption. And also, as you will see, the dismantling of parking spaces people rely on. But as we discover today, it's not as horrific a loss as it might appear. This is how it will look mid-December, the midpoint substation along the streetcar line. Biking to it this morning, the project exec has taken flack for it. Words like eyesore and intrusion easily trip off lips of critics. It's ugly. It's, somebody said it was like having a semi parked in your front yard on, on a permanent basis. Twelve parking spots at Court and Walnut have been permanently erased, two others temporarily. That gnaws at some attorneys, business owners, and courthouse commuters who rely on this strip of spots. But not all. Step into King's Court Master Barber and Shushan. Frankly, once the streetcar comes in, most people are going to shy away from driving anyway. The driving force here is Russell Hurley, who says retail restaurants and bars will flourish. And by increasing business and access to them, I'll become busier because I'm close to those types of businesses. For those still rankled by the city's muscle move, now hear this. We found 12 spaces uh, that we can activate now that weren't parking spaces. Here's one a half block north that should be ready in two weeks. Here's another a half block south where a fire hydrant was moved to create new space. Two spots will return right next to the substation to make it a wash parking wise. Nobody's really upset. Everybody's just anxious for the streetcar to finally, finally get here. It's back to work. 12 old spots gone, 12 new ones to come. All right, and again, those new meters, a dozen of them, should be operable by mid August. All this being explained to anyone interested at the public library right now downtown. Live and over the Rhine, John London, WWT News Fund. All right, John.